Tinubu government won't take nonsense from international community that treats Nigerians like faith. Femi Fenikayode, the former director of the former director of Special Media Projects and Operations and New Media for the Tinubu Shetima Campaign Council in the 2023 presidential election, Femi Fanikayode, has said that President Bola Tinubu's administration will not take nonsense from the international community. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians, the former director of special, Med of special media projects and operations, a new media for the Tinubu Shetima Campaign Council in the 2023 presidential election, Femi Fanikayode has said that President Bola met Tinubu's administration will not take nonsense from the international community. According to Fanny Kayode, who is a former aviation minister, the international community looks down on Nigeria and Nigerians and treats Nigerians like filth and with contempt. Fanny Kayode, on his Twitter handle on Thursday, said that President Tinubu represents the new African leader that will not genflex, shake, tremble and quiver before those leaders and nations that believe that they are superior to ours and those that share erroneous and ignatious view that Nigerians particularly and Africans generally are unlettered barbarians that are inferior to them. He said there is nothing more beautiful, powerful, and inspiring than a confident, strong, educated, courageous, and enlightened Nigerian who knows and appreciates the rich and noble history of his people and the great heritage that they drive from. Under this new dispensation, we have a leadership that we broke no nonsense from those in the international community that look down on Nigerians and that treat our people like fleet and with contempt. No matter where you are in the world, as long as you are a Nigerian, you will know that you have a strong and confident government and a caring and bold president who will do all he can to protect you and fight for you and your interest when faced with injustice or discrimination. That is, in my view, is one of the most important things that President Tinubu brings to the table. It includes honor, it includes strength, self-respect, dignity, fortitude, Resilience, faith in God and in ourselves and an appreciation of who we really are and the wonderful innovations and contributions that we have to offer the world. Okay. His contribution to nation issues and administration is always on part of confusion and consistent he have no stable mind. Our new minister, very soon, Isa Allah, you contributed a lot for Mr. President. Hala will reward you. The direction of international community will be listened to to avoid calling for help from them. Can Nigeria be able to fight with Benin Republic? You want foreign affairs minister B? They play. We are surely back to Abacha era. See you then. FFF, you go collect Woto Woto very soon. Food is ready anyway. But you will go and borrow money from them. Stomach infrastructure man is mad. Father and son, where is this man talking from? I know they see him update for Facebook again. 
stomach infrastructure, wear planning, useless and foolish talk, waiting for the former military general, ROTD, and the former president, no do. Now you won't do them. Come help them, do them, make we see. Are you his, his spokesperson, Ewu Gambia? Hungry man, you day so. Food is ready. Man, we hear you. If you hear this man say anything, that means there is food on the table. Who be this? These are reactions from Nigerians, and they keep on talking. Uh, Mr. Anywhere Bele Face has spoken. Oh, yeah, China, India, South Africa, Singapore, Malaysia, United Arab Emirates that take Nigerians for granted. Watch your back. Tell him all. No level, no transfer. We are still on the re-issues. No distractions. First, Bolatinable drug case and uh, the 460,000 US forfeiture. Two, 25% in FCT. Three, forged certificate. Four, INEC not following its guidelines. Five, Shetimara's double nomination. Six, election rigging, ETC. Seven, Guinea passports and pre -drain. Eight, EU reports. Nine, all eyes on the tribunal. Stay focused. We cannot be distracted. These are reactions. They keep on talking. That is correct. Abacha did the same. He thought the UK is lifetime lesson. He taught the UK a lifetime lesson. Okay, Nigerians are still talking. Uh, Tunubu should stop going to Europe for medical tourism. If you want, make them respect you. First, behave yourself. Respect, go follow. Did Abacha live to say the outcome of his foolishness? Abacha could not travel out for treatment until self-medication and apply terminated him. On point, this is nonsense, low-life man. It is international community that will not take nonsense from him. They have his doer when he do anything, they will give him anyhow. If you don't want to take nonsense, then stop taking loan from them. FFK was supposed to be a strong witness for Tunubu, but he ran away and abandoned his master. APC told Nigerians be patient with Buhari. That is how we wasted eight years in suffering. APC have come again. Please be patient with Tunubu. No, you can't tell us to be patient in poverty, bad roads, hunger. Why you all grown pot bellies travel to the world and steal our money? <laughs> These are reactions from Nigerians. So make a drop up for you, my people. What's your take? Please kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.